Well, Patriots, today we're going to discuss how federal and state laws clash some places. Okay, so, y'all know I'm here in Nevada. All right, state law here says I can own a gun, I can carry a gun, everything, even... State law says even now if I'm a medical marijuana patient. However, federal law always tries to step in here in Nevada and say that under their statute there is no lawful use for marijuana, not even medical. They still don't recognize medical as being a legal law. And I thought that the U.S. Supreme Court told the feds years ago back off of medical marijuana well they haven't backed off they've made it harder they're trying to push here in nevada a law that says as medical marijuana patients we're not allowed to own any guns for self-defense they're trying to w take away our right to protect ourselves and here's the thing you got a person who uses medical marijuana who's on chemo or something for cancer they're using it for cancer simply because they choose to use an alternative medicine the feds say that they have to leave themselves vulnerable to home invasion and shit in a state like this it's good coffee so do you agree do you think that sick medical patients should have to leave themselves vulnerable and absolutely not be able to own any firearms for protection? Not even an old shotgun. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, state law permits it here. State law will even will permit you to own a firearm, even if you're a medical marijuana patient. The only thing you can't get when you're a patient here is a carry is a concealed carry permit what does it matter under nevada laws guns your guns in general don't require registration not even your handguns open carry does not require a permit so people can just strap it on out in the open and walk around but getting back to the subject do you believe this is right that the federal law should be able to say that just because you're a medical marijuana patient, you need to leave yourself completely vulnerable to home invasion. <laughs> See, they want to take the people who actually want to use marijuana as a medicine and they want to punish us. They want to demonize us. They want to leave us open and vulnerable to attack or to be attacked yeah they want to leave us vulnerable and open to be attacked okay we had a case here in nevada just last week where two guys grabbed a woman off the street forced her into their car forced her to several atms to withdraw cash from her account and if here's the thing if it had not been for a neighbor of theirs, seeing them drag her out of a car and into their apartment. If it had not been for a concerned neighbor calling the cops, that woman would have probably been found dead or something in the Sparks Marina. Yeah, that just happened last week. She was kidnapped right off the streets. But instead, somebody saw it, somebody stepped up, and people went to jail and the victim was recovered alive. Okay? But what I'm saying is, is it right that we, as Americans, should have to leave ourselves vulnerable if we choose to use medical marijuana? I tell, I personally say it's time to tell the feds go fuck themselves. What do you think? I know I think it's time to tell the feds to fuck off. All right? So, if there's any feds watching this, fuck off, buddy. Put that in your pipe and smoke it.